Hey, this is Mr. Perez again. Today we're going to continue our work with combining like terms. But before we combine the like terms, we're going to have to translate word statements into mathematical expressions. We got to do it. Anyway, this is Charlie's favorite subject. Just kidding. Let's see if he's ready to go. Hey, Charlie, we're doing your favorite subject today. <laughs> combining like terms. Oh, he's okay. Quick phone around, Charlie. What? Here we go. Right there. Okay, we're going to combine like terms. But first, we're going to translate a word statement into a mathematical expression. So, here we go. Translate the following phrase into a mathematical expression using x as the variable. Simplify the expression by combining like terms. <sighs> we just can't get away from this, but that's okay. We gotta practice. So here we go, Charlie. Here's our first problem. Twice the sum of five and a number subtracted from three times the number. All right, just relax, Charlie. Here we go. So we're gonna read and translate. Now, notice in the first part, it says twice the sum, right? Twice the sum. If you're taking, if you're taking twice the sum, it means you're multiplying by two. If it was three times the sum, you'd multiply by three. But when they say twice the sum, simply multiply by two. So here it is, twice the sum. Now, what is it that we're taking the sum of, Charlie? Well, pay attention. It's twice the sum of five and a number. There it is in that order of five and a number. Okay, now we've gotten that far. All right, take a break. Okay, break's over, let's go. What? Now. So we have twice the sum of five and a number, now it's subtracted from. Now notice where the subtraction was placed. You're taking away twice the sum away from something. So the subtraction goes in front. Now what are we taking it away from? Well, we're taking it away from three times the number. And three times the number is the three x, right? Okay. So we're taking away from the three times a number, right? And there it is right there. Okay, Whew, that was a tough part. Now that's half the problem there, right? Now we're not done because now we have to simplify the expression by combining like terms. But the problem is we have a parenthesis there. Now remember, order of operations said you must do the parentheses first, but we can't because five and x are not like terms. You cannot add five plus x. That's not five x, right? 5x means 5 times x. 5 plus x you can't combine. But we can get rid of the parentheses by applying the distributive property. And now we're going back to that last lecture in that we're going to treat that subtract 2 as adding a negative 2, which means we're going to distribute a negative 2 into the parentheses. So be careful. So we have 3x. Now, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. But adding a negative 10 is the same as what, Charlie? Subtracting 10. Subtracting 10, right? Okay. Now, here we go. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. But adding a negative 2x is the same as what, Charlie? Subtracting 2x. Subtracting 2x, right? Okay. Now, again, we have 3x subtract 10, subtract 2x. Order of operations says you're supposed to work left to right, but you cannot work left to right because you cannot do 3x subtract 10 because they're not like terms. So we're going to visualize everything being added. We're seeing this as 3x plus a negative 10 plus a negative 2x so we can go out of order. So here we are. What's 3x plus a negative 2x, Charlie? 1x. It's just 1x. You bring down your work and the answer is x subtract 10, right? That's a tough one there, right? We gotta keep going. We gotta practice these. Okay, Charlie, let's do another one. Don't get scared. Here we have the difference of a number and three. Let me read that again. The difference of a number and three added two three times the number. Okay, don't get scared. Here we go. Let's just read and translate. First of all, we have the difference. So the difference means subtraction, right? Well, what are we taking the difference of, Charlie? A number and three. That's right, a number and three. So there it is, the difference of a number and three. We're using x as the, to represent the number, right? That's our variable. So there's the difference of a number and three. Now, this difference is being added to something. So you're adding this to something else. Well, what is it that you're adding 
this difference to, Charlie? Three times the number. Three times the number, and therefore it's, right? Three times the number, so therefore it would be 3x plus the quantity x subtract 3. So let me do this again. We have the difference of x subtract 3, and it's being added to the 3x, right? And so there it is. x minus 3 being added to the 3x, right? All right, now that we got that far, we've got to remove the parentheses. Now, notice we have a plus in front of a parentheses. It's really a plus one, right? And anytime you multiply anything by one, it's not going to change. So what happens is, if we, if we distribute a plus one into the parentheses, nothing will change. So it looks like we're going to remove the parentheses and nothing changes. Watch. Plus one times x is a plus x. Plus 1 times a negative 3 is negative 3, and adding a negative 3 is the same as subtracting 3. So it appears as if we just remove the parentheses. Well, you can when you just have a plus 1 in front of the parentheses. Now, we don't write the 1 there, but it's implied to be there, right? So you can think of it that way. So it's like, that's how you would distribute an addition through a parentheses there. So be careful with that one. And now we just combine like terms. Everything's set up for us. 3x plus x is 4x and we're left with 4x subtract 3. Wow. That's a tough one there, but anyway. All right, we've got to practice our combined line terms, and then we'll come back for some more later. See you all again soon.